Now let's try running the very first test on our real device. For that, uh, we need to launch PyCharm. So PyCharm. And we need to install the APM package in PyCharm as well. So what I'll do, I'll gonna create a new project for it. Name it as APM testing create. So what we need to install is the APM Python client. So far we are done with all this configuration and now we need to configure APM Python client. So let it, let the uh, environment is created. Now what we're gonna do, uh, let me delete this. And go to settings. And go to your project, Python interpreter, and add APM Python client. So this is what you'll be needing. Successfully added. Click close, click on OK. And now let's create a new uh, package over here, name it as test cases. So here uh, I'll be creating my very first test. Uh, I'll gonna run this test on uh, a real mobile device itself and I'll be launching a web browser. So I'll name it as test web application. So first uh, we need to, from APM, we need to import web driver. So that's the very first uh, import package that you need to add. So everything in APM is going to work using uh, a class called as remote. So what you need to do, you need to create an object of that class by saying driver equal to web driver dot remote. So this is coming from the APM driver. And then uh, there is a constructor that accepts your, uh, see the port, you're getting by default over here, 127.0.0.1. This is basically the uh, hub port, the grid hub port, because remote is uh, used for grid hub as well and even for the mobile devices as well. So the port, you need not to give it 4444. The port you'll be giving is 4723. So you need to start the server and this is what you'll be writing as it is. Just the port, you need to change it to uh, 4723. So you'll be writing it like, HTTP 127.0.0.1 colon 4.7.2.3 and here you need to give uh, desired, see desired capabilities. So desired capabilities you'll be creating it uh, with the help of a dictionary. There are a lot of ways I'm going to show it to you but let's uh, say desired uh, caps equal to and I'm gonna create it with the help of a dictionary. So there are a couple of uh, uh, capabilities that we need to provide it to the remote class. We need to first tell that which is the device we are going to execute. We, are we executing it on an Android device or we are executing it on an iOS device? So in the capability, you need to tell that your device name is going to be Android. So this capability is mandatory. You can write even Samsung over here, but capability is mandatory. Then you need to uh, add another uh, capability called as platform version, uh, platform name. So again, it's Android platform. We'll be giving it as Android. Then you need to tell the browser that you are going to automate as a Chrome browser, which is a by default browser. Right. So these are the minimum capabilities that you need to provide. Rest, you can provide a platform version as well. There are other capabilities, but which are not mandatory. So at least these much capabilities should be there. And if we need any additional capabilities based on our requirement, that will gonna provide it later on. 
But let's provide these capabilities. Uh, you need to pass on this uh, reference over here of this dictionary and that's it. So only by doing this much, it is going to launch a browser. And once the browser is launched, I'm going to navigate to a website. Let's say driver.get and I'm going to give the website URL as HTTP Google.com. So if you are familiar with Selenium, rest of the coding is similar to what we do in Selenium. You want to get the title, print the title, say driver dot title. And you should be able to call all the functions very easily. Then I'm going to add some time dot sleep before it should quit and close the browser. I'm going to add a time sleep for two seconds. Import this uh, time. And then I'm going to do driver dot quit. That's it. So that is the only code that you need to run. It is very straightforward. Just add these capabilities provided to your uh, like uh, APM server. Uh, the URL is still not complete. It is WD and then hub. So this is the complete URL. Localhost 127.001, call in 4723 on which the services are started, then WD and then hub. And make sure the APM server is up and running. If it is not, then uh, your code will not be able to communicate with the APM server. And APM server is the one which is going to communicate with your mobile APIs. Right. So let me uh, connect my mobile device again. Just a moment. Launch TeamViewer. Launch quick support on your real device. And once you get the message ready, then only you should be able to connect it. Yeah, let's connect. And let's try to run the code and see what happens. So let's run it, run this web application, launch APM, you can see it started and see something launched on the device. See all the rest calls are going through this server. Okay. It's looking for Chrome driver entry because there's a Chrome driver that is required. See, we got some exception. See, in order to launch a browser, the Chrome browser, in case uh, you have worked on Selenium, you must be knowing that there's a Chrome driver exe that is required. So we got a message that no Chrome driver found that can automate the browser with this version 83.0.41.03. This is a very common message. Uh, you may gonna encounter it a lot of time when you update your APM desktop or maybe update the uh, Chrome browser on your real device. So you may gonna encounter the message that uh, Chrome driver is missing. So how to update Chrome driver. This is uh, one of the important tasks. So uh, what we need to do uh, is we need to go to the Chrome driver website. Uh, the shortcut is go to the Selenium website. Go to download and look for browsers and look for Chrome browser over here. Go to documentation part. This will directly take you to uh, this. So current site will be deprecated soon. This is a new website. You can download it from here, but we are looking for the old version. That is 83. So available in downloads. So what version that we are looking for is 83.0. So the same version you need to download. I think this is the version. 4103 exactly so download it from here uh, okay 4103 we have two so last one okay nothing mentioned so we'll try to download this one and down for windows it is 32 bit only no 64 bit i think i've already downloaded it earlier let me take that one this is the one. 
move it somewhere to maybe desktop and extract it. Extract to come So this is the one. And now what we need to do, just copy this, go to your APM installation directory. So that is inside C drive program files. Make sure uh, wherever you've installed it, you need to find this APM folder. Go to resources, go to app, go to node modules. Here, look for APM, then node modules. Look for APM Chrome driver. This is your Chrome driver. See, this one could be the latest one because we are installing, we have just installed the latest version of APM. So it may be containing the latest version of your Chrome driver executable but uh, your mobile might be having some old version of Chrome browser. So either update it from your mobile device or delete this one. Permission to delete, continue. And it's deleted and paste this one. Right? So once you do this, uh, let us restart the APM services. And let's run the code again to make sure the issue that we were getting for Chrome driver is fixed now. So run the web application. And let's see. So if everything works, then it should launch the browser in some time. And see, the browser is launched. Okay, it's not showing on TeamViewer. The browser is actually launched. You can see all the messages over here. And see, it has printed Google as well. Why it's not showing on TeamViewer? It may got stuck. Let me uh, quit and uh, relaunch TeamViewer and then show it to you. Right, you, you would not be needing TeamViewer. I need it because I need to show you the mobile device on my screen. Otherwise, when you're practicing it on your real device, you need not uh, to use TeamViewer. But just for the uh, presentation purpose. So let's see. See the browser is launched. Should navigate to google.com. And then after two seconds, it should quit, right? So that's how we have successfully executed our very first test case on the real mobile device on a web app. And we have successfully troubleshooted uh, the issue that we encounter for the Chrome driver executable. So that's all in this lecture. In the next lecture, we're gonna inspect some element on the web application and we're gonna automate some of the part and, and we're gonna see how we um, can execute the test on uh, real web application on the mobile device. All right. Thank you.